May the grace and love of God be with us today and always, dear listeners of Faith Journey. As we gather here at this late hour, I invite each of you to settle in comfortably, open your hearts, and prepare to receive the message that we will share tonight. I'm here too, praying and reflecting with you. Tonight we focus our hearts and prayers on those among us who are wrestling with the night, unable to find the rest that their bodies and minds so desperately need. In our powerful midnight prayer, we will ask the Lord to bless those suffering from insomnia, that they may sleep peacefully and be at ease. May they find comfort in God's embrace and awaken refreshed, ready to face the new day with strength and joy. Let us lift up these intentions as we seek solace and rest in the divine. Tonight, dear listeners, as we gather in prayer to seek comfort and rest for those troubled by sleeplessness, let us meditate upon Psalm 23, a passage that serves as a beacon of hope and assurance. Psalm 23 is more than just words on sacred pages. It is a twinkling light in times of profound darkness. With each word, we are revived by God's unconditional love and His constant presence. In every phrase, He whispers promises of guidance and protection, especially in times of uncertainty and fear. This verse reminds us that even in the darkest nights of the soul, God is our beacon, leading us away from dangers and towards the dawn of a new day filled with hope and renewed faith. As the Good Shepherd, He guides, protects, and sustains us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. These words powerfully declare our trust and reliance on Him. Under His care, all our needs are met. There is no hunger, thirst, or forsakenness. As we face the challenges in the proverbial valleys in our lives, we do not walk alone. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. This affirmation from the psalm assures us of his comforting presence, guiding us along righteous paths. Tonight, as we pray for peaceful slumber, let us hold these truths close to our hearts. May the promises of Psalm 23 encourage us to trust, to believe, and to walk firmly, knowing that the Creator of the universe walks with us at every step. Amen. Psalm 23 is truly powerful. Let's pray together. As we continue in this moment of reflection and prayer, I encourage each of you listening to share the names of your loved ones or any prayer requests you may hold in your heart. Leave them in the comments because together we will pray and present them all to God. This act of sharing and prayer not only unites us but strengthens our faith as a community. And if this content touches your heart, please don't hesitate to leave your like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We are growing as a big prayer family here on Faith Journey. May God bless each of you abundantly as we continue to walk this journey of faith together. Now let us draw closer to the words of David in Psalm 23. Elias Joel, could you please read this powerful passage for us? Certainly, Lucas Gabriel. I would like you, our dear listeners, to join me in this moment of prayer. You may repeat the words after me or pray silently in your mind, claiming all the promises contained within Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Wow, how comforting it is to hear this prayer, how it touches our hearts. I always get emotional and very happy when I read this prayer. It is a power that emanates from God and strengthens us and gives us hope in this early morning. I urge you, my brothers and sisters, to share this prayer with your family and friends. How many right now are in need of the blessings contained in Psalm 23? For every 10 people you share with, you can be sure that at least one of them will be touched and will convert to the Word of God, while others will have blessings poured out 
and their lives will be transformed. Let's spread the word and bring light to those in need. I have a direction for you. Listen to this prayer every day before you go to bed throughout the week. It will be a blessing in your life. Let the words of Psalm 23 soothe and guide you as you end each day with God's promises in your heart. Take a moment of your day to connect with nature, whether it's in a park, a garden, or even just looking out your window. While doing this, reflect on Psalm 23. See how nature proclaims the glory of God. Each leaf, each breath of wind is a testament to His everlasting presence and mercy. For one week, at the end of each day, give thanks for three specific things that happened. While doing this, listen to this prayer. See how gratitude can change your perspective and strengthen your faith. And I would love to hear from you. Please leave in the comments what you were thankful for. Let's share our blessings and grow together in gratitude. As we conclude today's session, I pray that the Lord's blessings be upon you. For those of you enduring insomnia or those who must work or study through this night, may you find tranquility and the comforting embrace of God's love. May you have a good night's sleep and remember, those who keep a prayer vigil will one day be rewarded for their faithfulness. And before we part, thank you for joining us on Faith Journey. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our nightly prayers. God bless you abundantly. And until our next prayer, stay in peace and faith. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds. Good night, dear listeners, and God bless you abundantly.